Hey guys, what's up? Roger here and welcome to 10 Mile Creations. Now, like we've been doing recently, today we're going to be taking a look at some filament. Now, this one is interesting because one of my viewers reached out and asked me to take a look at this filament. He had purchased quite a bit of it and he was having a hard time getting it to print correctly. And he asked if I could kind of run it through my process and see what I could do. So this filament is Sunlu, PETG in black. And I do like that centerpiece. That's pretty slick. So it is uh, filled with desiccant. And it's one of those 3D printed uh, cores that go into your, your filament. Pretty interesting. So we're going to get started with this. The first thing we're going to do, because it's PETG, we're going to throw it in our dryer for about six or seven hours and let it dry out. And then we're going to take it to the A1 and see what it can do. If I see it. I can make it, and it's all mine. Fresh from the ground, built line by line. If you got skills, then CC. Apologize for the printer noise, but I have orders to fill, unfortunately. So there are going to be printers running in the background. So let's take a look at this filament. This this is the first print, and I noticed immediately that we had issues. Uh, some defects and then the corner started uh, curling up here so I didn't see the sense in letting the whole job run obviously we have a problem and I didn't blame this on the material uh, I had a feeling that this was a dirty print bed so I went ahead and swapped out for a new plate and so this is our second print and everything looks very nice here we still had just the slightest little bit of curling on the edges but overall the print came out amazing like looks very very good again we uh would like to look at fit how things fit and we can see fits nicely retention perfect so dimensionally this was very very nice if you saw in the previous part of this video the first layers went down like glass i mean it really printed very very well but again, we're still haunted by uh, a little bit of curling, even though we had replaced the plate. So third one, I didn't need to run the whole time. Uh, what I did here was I increased the bed temperature on the initial layer by five degrees, and I lowered the initial layer height. So it was printing at 0.3. I set the initial layer height at 2.4 and brought the bed up to 75C just for that first layer. And uh, as you can see, the bottom layer was absolutely gorgeous. No curling, no nothing, just absolutely gorgeous. So I didn't see the sense of running the entire job because yeah, that's what we were after as far as the solution and it was solved. And then I was so confident in this material at that point that I went ahead and ran one of my commercial jobs on it just to see how it would print as you can see just beautiful absolutely beautiful even the overhang looks decent i mean just i cannot complain about that material at all well all right there we go so let's get into some of the details of what exactly we did what we changed and well if those changes were necessary which obviously they were um i will say right up front it was printing relatively slow i would say even at this point if i was to use it long term i would probably spend some time trying to increase the speed and then modifying some settings along the way it did print very well but it was slow like slow like i would have to definitely speed it up uh, for me to use it production wise um, so on the first setting it was the default uh, PETG hf by default and like I said, we, you saw in the video there, we did have some curling on the corners. And I suspect it was a print bed. I'd probably print it on that bed about five or six times. And I haven't cleaned it up. And it's a bed slinger, so it's open and exposed to the environment. So I went ahead and swapped out that plate. We put the new plate on and we got a first good print, I would say. Uh, print number two, 0.6 nozzle, 0.24 layer height. Um, let me see here. 0.24 no i think i was a 0.3 actually uh 70c bed 
220 on the nozzle and the max speed was at 150 and our ambient temperature was 69 degrees now remember we are on a bed slinger so that means the ambient temperature is relevant um now Sunlu recommends that this be printed at 230 to 240 c at 100 millimeters per second or 240 to 260 at 200 millimeters per second with a bed temperature between 60 and 70 c so after that second print you know we had just a tad just i mean just a minor a little bit about curling there on the corners I decided to do what I always do when I'm suffering with that situation, lower the initial layer height just for the initial layer and increase the bed temperature slightly. So I'm looking a little more squished, trying to get some more material down on that bed. And that always seems to work out pretty good for me. So number three, 0.6 nozzle, uh, initial layer height 0.24, bed temperature for the first layer of 75C, then we went back to 70. It was still at 150 millimeters per second maximum speed. This time we bumped the ambient temperature up to about 73 degrees in the room and everything went great. So no complaints. I do like the fact that it was dimensionally accurate. You know, we've done some other filaments and they haven't necessarily been dimensionally accurate. Close, but you know, I expect on the money. So what would be my conclusion of Sun Lu's PETG? I think, yes, you could take it out of the box and run it with generic um, PETG HF settings, and it would probably do pretty good. But I think it would benefit a lot more from just a little bit of tweaking, and it really doesn't take much. I think it is definitely capable of printing faster than we printed it, and I think long term, I would probably work on that, try to get some more speed out of it, and see just how much more I could get without substantially changing a bunch of numbers. That's the thing is after you get a filament set up, you can save that profile in your slicer and you always have it. So you don't have to do it every time. So if you have time to tweak and tune, I think this is one filament that benefit from it. But if you don't have, honestly, you could take it right out of the box, throw it in your printer. Now, if you have an enclosed printer, probably a different situation, wouldn't have to do some of the things that we did. But because this is a bed slinger and it's exposed to the environment, we had some environmental issues, I imagine is what it was because it was fairly cold, only 69 degrees in the room. And uh, I think that could have definitely been part of it. All right, guys, well, that's it for Sunlu PETG. I've got to say, I did like it. That first layer was impressive. I really liked how it went down. It went down nice and smooth and I was impressed with it. So, uh, yeah, no, absolutely no complaints about Sun Lu PETG. All right, guys, we'll see you next time.